we have been dealing with the first derivative being f prime of x or df dx. Or you could even say uh, y prime. Second derivative should make sense. It's f double prime. It says you're going to take the derivative twice. That says you're going to take here the derivative and you want to take the derivative of the derivative. And if you notice, if I d times d is d squared, dx times dx is dx squared. It's like saying this without the uh, parentheses. But that says second derivative. Third derivative is triple prime. And it is the derivative of the second derivative. Like I said, we don't deal with that much except here. We practice it, that's all. That says derivatives are functions in their own right. They do have their own derivatives. So how would I know when I had the third derivative? You'll see threes there. And that usually, that's one of the notations. <coughs> you could also do y triple prime, y double prime. You can do any derivative. N would be a number. So if I were going to do the fourth derivative, this would be f4 of x. Sometimes you'll see them as Roman numerals instead. We tend to do fours, and those would be fours. This says find the second derivative. So that means I'm trying to find y double prime. So that means we differentiate and then we differentiate again. And this is sometimes can be unpleasant. Well, the first thing I always do is I'm going to rewrite this guy. This is 5x to the 1 half power plus 3x to the minus 2 power plus 1 third x to what power? One <coughs> Not 1 half, one negative 1 half plus 1 half. So that y prime would be 1 half times 5, which is 5 halves x drop of the power to the negative 1 half. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 x to the negative 3 minus negative 1 half times positive 1 third is negative 1 sixth x to the negative 1 half drop of the power should be negative what? 3, Three halves. And then derivative of 1 half is 0. zero. Y double prime, and you just do it again. Minus one half times five halves is minus five fourths x to the minus three halves. Minus three times minus six is plus 18 x to the minus four. Minus three halves times minus one sixth is minus. 3 twelfths x to the minus 5 halves. Yeah. The very first number that's negative 5 halves? Fourths. Because 1 half times 5 halves is 5 fourths. Um, what, what is the 3 um, twelfths be a plus 3 twelfths? Oh yeah, that would be a plus because I was thinking about three twelfths is also what? One fourth. One fourth. <laughs> so if I wanted to simplify that, I could. Would I rewrite it? No. With radicals? Nah. Your book might, but I don't. So we're not wrong if we do. Good enough. Hmm? We're not wrong if we do. Not on test, no. 